In this video, I thought I'd take a look at some of the predicted trends for 2024 and give you some ideas of how you might be able to implement them into your decal or product-based business. I'm going to be taking notes as well. I always like to start the new year by launching some new products or new designs just to keep things fresh. To find these trends, I tend to look at Pinterest predicts and Etsy and also just general trends that are predicted to be big in kind of homeware fashion and the wedding industry as well. However, if you sell decals or products in a specific industry, obviously keep an eye on what people are predicting might be big in that niche in the year to come. Although do be aware that these are mostly just predictions. So use them as inspiration rather than a solid forecast of what will definitely sell. Colour of the year. It's always really interesting to see which colour Pantone has chosen for the year ahead as their colour of the year. And for 2024, they have chosen Peach Fuzz. They say it captures our desire to nurture ourselves and others and describe it as a velvety, gentle peach tone whose all-embracing spirit enriches mind, body and soul. Apparently. Etsy's 2024 colour, however, is berry, which they say marries rich red and blue tones and adds depth to 2023's popular pinks. So still kind of on that pinky spectrum, but obviously a lot darker than Pantone's predicted colour. But then if you're interested in interiors, Sherwin-Williams, the paint makers, have predicted a blue as their choice, which they are calling upward. So all three are fairly different, but I think all of them would be great to use in wedding designs in particular. And also the first two will be really great for the upcoming Valentine season as well. If you want to find some similar colour vinyls, then for Peach Fuzz, you could consider Apricot or Shell Pink from Tech Grap, or Caesar has a Pale Peach Easy PSV too. For Berry, that has been a bit harder to find in vinyl actually. If I come across any, I will definitely add it to the description, but I haven't found any at this point. However, the Fuchsia HTV from TechRap is similar if it is iron on vinyl that you sell. And then if you want to match upward, TechRap's Baby Blue is a very pale blue. I have some here and it's a lovely color. It stands out really well on darker surfaces in particular. Cafe Core. This upcoming trend is a match made in heaven for decal makers and sign makers in particular. Searches for coffee bar styling, chalk sign ideas, coffee station decor and cafe chalkboard have went up massively on Pinterest. So whether you do sign decals and could add some designs that suit this trend or you do labels that could bougie up a coffee bar, consider how you could tap into this market as it takes off. I personally would love a fancy coffee bar in my home as well, so I'm going to think about how I can DIY this one for myself, I think. Groovy nuptials. I've got to be honest, I thought this trend was already over. These types of fonts have been trending for the past few years, and these 70s inspired wedding designs have been around for a while already. But according to Pinterest searches, Groovy Wedding and 70s Bride have increased massively and Hitched have also said the same thing. So maybe it's not too late for this trend or maybe it's having a revival. Check out Creative Fabrica for some fab retro inspired fonts and maybe keep an eye on the specific kind of 70s style that people are looking for. Will it be more hippie or kind of more disco designs? that proved to be more popular. Who knows? Aquitecture. So I'm not sure on the logistics of this one personally, but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. So apparently there has been a rise in Gen Xers and Millennials searching for small aquarium designs and turtle terrarium ideas. And vinyl obviously sticks really well to glass. So maybe that could be a new avenue for anyone who does pet decals or home decor decals. I have no clue how they would fare inside an aquarium, of course, and I don't think you would want to put them anywhere where small creatures could nibble on them. But for the outside of tanks, they could work. Something for people to look into, perhaps, anyway. Cute coins. This one is also for the people who sell stickers as well as decals. So apparently credit cards are going to get a makeover in 2024 and piggy banks will be customised and Pinterest said there will be stickers on everything. The search for credit card stickers alone has went up 140% 
I didn't even know these were a thing, but when you look for them, there are some really cool skins available to buy, but it does seem as if the market is still fairly limited and could do with some more sellers who could offer a wider range of fun designs. There are quite a few SVG templates online for them as well if you want to try them out. So it could be worth a go if you sell stickers. And then for all of us decal people, I'm sure we could come up with some aesthetic piggy bank decals so that people can personalise their money pots. Western Gothic. According to Pinterest, this is the latest on-trend home style for Gen Z and boomers. Although admittedly, my husband just introduced this style to me recently and we're both millennials. So maybe there is a bit of an overlap. But vintage Americana, country room ideas and Western Mirror have all seen a massive rise in searches recently. And I think it would be very easy to do with decals if you were in the home decor niche or if you sell mirror decals. I really love the visuals for this trend. I would happily have a room in my home like this. Etsy has also seen a rise in gothic clothing. So if you do clothing, stepping into kind of a more general gothic niche might be a wise choice as well. Inch stones. Last year, Pinterest predicted that in 2023, there would be a rise in golden celebrations like 100th birthday parties and golden wedding anniversaries in our post pandemic world. And you know what? I have done so many more 70th, 80th, 90th, 100th birthday decals this year and quite a lot of anniversaries of all type as well. So I do think they hit the mark on that one. In 2024 though, their celebration prediction is all around babies. So make sure if you sell event decals like me, that you are offering designs that people can use to celebrate their little ones. If you do a lot of children's designs, Etsy has also seen a 250% year on year increase in searches for crafting kits for kids. So if you could somehow incorporate your products into a kit that is suitable for children, there is another great idea to start selling in the year ahead. So again, these are just for inspiration to give you ideas of things you could potentially sell in 2024. As the year goes on, keep an eye on what is trending in shops online and on social media and track your selling stats to see what is popular with customers and what isn't. I've also got another video here with lots of tips and ideas for how to come up with new product and business ideas if you're stuck. And if you want to level up your business game to make more sales, save time and make more profit, but you need some tips on where to start, check out my latest bundle, Supercharge Your Cricket Business, which will give you everything you need. Let me know in the comments which trend you like the most and if it has inspired you to sell something new in 2024. Or let me know if you think there are any other trends that are worth mentioning and that people should keep an eye on as well. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.